For Crocodile, the puzzle room is pretty simple. Everyone will need to pick up a water container here and go to one of the four corners of the room. At the end of each corner, there's going to be a waterfall with water in it. Click on it to fill up your jug. If you check your jug now, you'll be at 100% capacity. I need to run back through and water the plant in the middle. If I take damage on the way, then I'm going to lose water in my jug. This is the easiest puzzle by far. Everything goes in order, so as soon as I see this come back, that's when I can run. I'm going to run now, and everything is clear. Throughout the room, these crocodiles will also start spawning. If there's water in the tree, they will start walking towards it. Continue watering the plant in the middle until it's completely full. At this point, put on your best range gear. If you brought a crossbow, put that on and do not use a blowpipe. Ruby Bolts E here are really strong and can make this fight go a lot faster. I'm using a Shadow here because Shadow is better than Bofa. Again, if you have any, if you have a T-Bow or a crossbow, then use that. The Krondus fight is also pretty simple. The main mechanic you'll have to deal with is the prayer switching. When he does that, a big red ball, you're going to pray against magic. And when he does a big rock, you'll pray against range. So that's the number one thing you'll need to pay attention to. When he spits out a bunch of water jugs and poison like this, you'll start to see some waves coming down from the side. Stand where there's a gap. Whatever you do, do not stand where there's poison. You'll start taking a lot of damage. I'm going to go ahead and pause the clip All the here while, and explain what needs to happen. I'm watching for my prayers. That's these prayer jugs range. are full of water, so we're, and we're the only place that you can stand is behind these rocks. When he spits out rocks like this, you'll need to solve there's poison a puzzle. behind the rocks, so obviously you can't stand there right now, so you need to clear them off with water, the water that's in those jugs. So you have two options here. I push the jug of water diagonally into the rock, and you'll see that it clears a spot for me to stand behind it. These puzzles can be difficult, and you need to think on your toes and be ready to solve what is thrown at you. Playing this clip now, I notice that I can push the rock diagonally so that the water jug explodes on top of the rock. Once the poison is cleared from behind the rock, I can go ahead and stand behind it. You'll see Zebak do a huge roar attack now. And that is why you need to stand behind it, or else you'll take 50 damage every single time. During the last 25% of the boss fight, Zebak will start to attack at double speed. There will be no more puzzles or waves, so just Make sure you're paying attention to your prayer flicks, and you'll be able to finish off the boss. The reason why we got waves there is because we're killing it so fast, and it is a entry level raid. There are times where you'll phase it into the last 25% during the waves, but after those waves are cleared, then there won't be any more puzzles or waves, like I said.